For every crazy habitat, there is an equally weird creature. This one behaves like an amphibian, but it's really a fish. It spends more time on land than in water. They also breathe via skin, and amphibians do it too. It is called cutaneous respiration. This bizarre fish establishes a territory, forages, and courts its mate out of water. To spend some quality time with this unusual fish, Brutus and I travel from the foothills of the Himalayas all the way to the mangroves of Sindh. It looks like it could be on another planet, where the trees swim in salty water and the fish walk on dry land. I am in the mangrove mudflats, but don't let the looks deceive you. This is a habitat that is chocked full of biodiversity. All kinds of migratory birds find food and shelter here during their long journey. This habitat also supports a wide array of crab species. But right now, I am after a bizarre fish that thrives on these mudflats. It's the mudskipper. They thrive in what is neither land nor water, yet both depending on the time of the day. On these flats, there are several species. Two of them are endemic to the Arabian Sea, which makes them special to our area of the world. Meet the Walden's mudskipper. and the somewhat larger, the Samir Mudskipper. To see them, it's best to wait until the water recedes from the flats. That's when their burrows are revealed. And you can see what they are up to. These guys are specially adapted for moving around on land. Their pectoral fins have two segments and additional muscles unique to mudskippers. They use it to push up and propel themselves in what is called crutching. graceful, but it does work for them. Now this is a mudskipper's burrow. Mudskippers are colonial creatures, so they live in huge colonies. And there are thousands of them out here on this mud flat. Now, this burrow is very important for a mudskipper. It provides safety from predators and they'd also lay their eggs in this burrow. But living in colonies mean that they have to defend their territory a lot. And as you can see, they'd often do it by building walls around their territory. The first line of defense for territories is flagging. Living in such a crowded neighborhood, they can really get obsessed with it. Mm -hmm. 
Defending the castle takes up a lot of time and energy. But there is more to a mudskipper's life than building walls and waving fins. They also look for mates while out of water. But when you are surrounded by walls and located so far down on the ground, a guy has to work hard to get noticed. Despite his best efforts, it appears that this fella will have to wait. Flagging, crutching and launching oneself into the air must make a mudskipper very hungry. Feeding out of the water requires adaptations as well. What they eat is found below them in the mud which is why their mouths are located underneath their head. Adult mudskippers are opportunistic carnivores. They eat mainly crustaceans, worms and insects. Now all this above water activity requires oxygen, but mudskippers are fish so they do get oxygen from gills which have to stay moist. A second method is via skin in their mouths which is adapted for breathing but also has to stay wet to work. So they trap water in their mouths to keep their gills and this special skin wet. This looks pretty strange for a fish, but it gets even odder. They also breathe via skin, and amphibians do it too, it is called cutaneous respiration. Wallowing in mud is their way of taking a breath of fresh air. With predators like these around, you need eyes in the back of your head. Mudskipper eyes are independently mobile and retractable. Each eye moves with its own personal agenda and commands its own wide field of view. This enables mudskippers to see 360 degrees. That is helpful for spotting that hopeful porn heron behind him and the whisker turns above. In fact, their vision is better out of water than in it. But being a fish, their eyes need a lot of moisture. This guy is not blinking. He's pulling his eyes into a dermal cup to moisten them with the water stored there. When despite vigorous flagging, a rival decides to make himself at home in someone else's territory, mudskippers will vigorously chase each other off the property.
these bouts don't always end well. Either distracted or injured, this part skipper ended up as a tasty meal for a young girl. Despite the abundance of predators, these guys are so well equipped. Most of them not only manage to escape, but thrive in great numbers on these flats. Mudskippers may be one of the most bizarre creatures on earth, but they are certainly one of the most amusing to watch, right here on the coast of Karachi.